an overnight broth culture of bacteria will contain a large number of organisms, far too many to count. The aim of performing a serodilution is to determine exactly how many bacteria are present in the culture. Dilutions are commonly prepared in quarter strength Ringer solution, a low concentration salt solution that maintains bacterial cells but will not allow any growth to take place. First, you need to label your bottles with the information described previously. In this case, we are going to take seven bottles containing nine milliliters of quarter strength Ringa solution and label the bottles with the dilution series from 10 to the minus one down to 10 to the minus seven. Here, I have a broth culture of E. coli. Using aseptic technique, we remove the lid, flame the neck of the bottle, and withdraw one milliliter or 1,000 microliters of the culture using an automatic pipette and sterile pipette tip. Flame the neck of the bottle again and replace the lid. Take the bottle of Ringo solution, labeled 10 to the minus one, remove the lid, flame the neck of the bottle, and dispense the culture into the liquid. Flame the neck of the bottle and replace the lid firmly to avoid spillage. Discard the pipette tip into the waste part. Gently mix the bottle. Now take this 10 to the minus one dilution, remove the lid, flame the neck of the bottle and withdraw one milliliter of the culture. Flame the neck of the bottle again and replace the lid. Take the bottle of Ringo solution labeled 10 to the minus two, remove the lid, flame the neck of the bottle and dispense the diluted sample into the liquid. Flame the neck of the bottle again and replace the lid. Discard the pipette tip into the waste. Again, mix thoroughly but gently by inversion. Repeat this process until the dilution series is complete. Using aseptic technique throughout, remembering to flame the neck of each bottle both before and after each manipulation and dispose of your tip in the labelled waste part. Your series of diluted cultures is now ready for plating out by spread plating or pour plating.